Wilson Suplu, born in Utkalavik on July 13, 1914, is the only son of Annie Tayurak Uluwak and Richmond Uluwak. When Suplu was a small boy, he lived in the Ukpirurak Valley, south of the Shublik Mountains, in the Ivrulik, a house built of willows and sod. That house was really warm. During that time, they fished in the Siksinyak open water springs of the canyon Kuruak River in the vicinity of Irnak and Nanuk Creeks and around the Shublik Island. After this, they moved to Barter Island and built a small wooden house there. This house had no window glass, just Uhuruk windows. They stayed there for two years. Then when Suplu's father started herding reindeer, sometime around 1925, they moved, they moved over to Analak taking some 200 reindeer that they had gotten from Andrew Akuchuk of Barter Island. They built a house near the lake about three miles southwest of Anderson Point at a site marked Kugunnak on a USGS map. Johnny Kugunnaluk also had a house here, hence the name Kugunnak, and his son Levi Grice herded reindeer in the same area. Kugunnaluk had come down the Kukbik River with w Richmond and Umiak several years earlier. Analok was a good area for keeping track of reindeer, as it was relatively high and dry land, almost like a large, low hill, and it was easy to see the deer and corral them. Every spring, Suplu would help his family take the herd up to the Saluchak Mountains, where they would usually leave in late winter and go to Sivurak on the Hula Hula River, where there is a long, high bluff. After remaining there a while, they'd go up the Saluchak River to the mountain valley beyond Saluchak Springs. Here, the reindeer would have their calves. The first ones were usually born in April. After the calves had gotten bigger, the herders would slowly guide the reindeer toward the coast, letting them graze all over the long, low hills between Saliruchik and Analak. One of these hills is called Nasaruk, which means the hill looks like a woman with a pack on her back. The word for this is Nasak. The Ulukaks used binoculars to watch the reindeer and try to keep track of them, but it was still very difficult. There were no skidoos then to help them round them up. Wolves would often attack the deer, biting them in their throat. 